What's up everyone? It's your boy. You know me. It's Mike Garrett. We're out here with the first episode of my new vlog for Driving Line. It's going to be so dope. We are going to be vlogging so hard right now. Ooh, all right. Um, no, I can't do that. Um, I want to try something a little bit different. Uh, hold on one second, okay? That's a little bit better, isn't it? Um, hey everyone, my name is Mike Garrett. Uh, some of you guys, I'm sure, have known me for a long time. Others may have no idea who the hell I am, but I'm a contributing editor at DrivingLine.com. I am a lifelong car enthusiast, and I've been fortunate enough to uh, carve out a career where I basically everything I do is related to cars. Driving Line hit me up a couple months ago, and they asked me about doing a vlog. And initially, I was a little unsure. Uh, kind of my image of vlogs is this kind of really in your face. What's up everybody? It's your boy Blazing WRX420 back with another video. Let's go! <laughs> Yo, what's up? Like, subscribe, hit me up. Oh, that thing is so sick. Yeah, yeah. And that's not really me. Um, but at the same time, I think there's definitely a lot of stuff that I want to show. Um, I decided to call it Auto Otaku because uh, that's actually what I called my blog back in the day. Do you remember those? Um, so if you followed me way back then, that name might uh, ring familiar. It basically means car geek, and uh, that's really what I am. I've been fortunate enough to build a whole career where I pretty much everything I do is related to cars. You know, writing, photographing, doing video work. Basically, this is just kind of a way to give a look into the, you know, inner workings of my life to take you guys along with me. Planning to do some content in Japan at the moment with all these travel restrictions. A little bit of that stuff is on hold. But uh, hopefully, uh, you know, in the pretty near future, we'll be able to get over there and you know show you guys some really cool stuff. Uh, in the meantime, there's plenty of stuff going on here stateside. This first episode, I thought I should give you guys a little bit of background on who I am, in case you don't know me. So uh, check this out. We shall prevail. Mustang. The Mustang attitude. Are you not Shakujuu and you'll see why 1984 won't be like 1984. I was born in 1984. My dad loved cars. His dad loved cars. And I assume his dad loved some sort of uh, horse-drawn buggies or something. Yeah, ever since I was just a little runt, I would tag along with my dad to car shows, swap meets. I would hang out in the garage with him. He was always bringing back some kind of weird car to the house. He had VWs. He's had muscle cars. He's had vans and uh, Hondas. He's had motorcycles. He's had just about everything a lot of that has rubbed off on me where it's not like uh you know i'm a chevy guy or i'm a ford guy or anything like that my first car uh 1972 ford torino station wagon after that i got my first muscle car and i use the quotes because it was a 1973 plymouth duster it had a 318 small block but that car uh, as i quickly found out was not very fast in fact i was uh smoked by things like honda accords chevy luminas Toyota Camrys, maybe a Chevy S10. It was a little embarrassing, but at the same time, I loved that car. Um, I uh, learned how to do one-wheel burnouts. I bought a glass pack muffler because I was a true enthusiast, and also I didn't have any money. My next cool car was a uh, 5.0 Fox Body Mustang. Mustang. I had a 94 Camaro Z28, uh, one of my favorites, a 92 Taurus SHO. Cams and 220 horsepower, the Ford Taurus SHO isn't for everyone. It was a really fast car back in the day, and it was basically perfect for a group of high school guys that want to go mess around. Uh, you pile all of them into the Taurus, and you go have some fun. Speaking of these uh, high school days, that's actually when I got my start in, uh, I guess what you'd call automotive content creation. Uh, my buddies and I we grabbed my parents' camcorder. And we went out driving and we basically filmed ourselves making fun of things. And we called it Street Racing Chronicles. And uh, I guess it went viral, I guess you could say, in, in the era before that term even exists. I wouldn't say it holds up particularly well, but uh, you can judge for yourself. Take a look. God, that sounds nice. Sick. 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 Not sick. 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 
Sick. Dirk. Comedic geniuses, I tell you. The Japanese stuff I got into a little bit later, more like when I was in college. As uh, dumb as this may sound, it was actually uh, Initial D, the uh, anime series. Be my it kind of opened me up to a whole new perspective on Japanese cars. I started, uh, you know, buying option DVDs and trying to read Japanese magazines. In fact, I actually uh, started studying Japanese language uh, so I could better understand uh, what was going on in the car world. Uh, we first uh, visited Japan in 2006. Uh, I bought a SLR camera just for the occasion. And so uh, I started a blog, uh, Auto Otaku. I posted pictures, I wrote about stuff that I was doing. Uh, 2008, we actually moved to Japan for about a year and a half. Um, and while I was over there is when I got linked up with Speed Hunter. It was a new website. It was just starting. We had a kind of a global team. It was really cool to be part of. The great thing was we, I was able to cover so many different kinds of things. And for someone like me who has this really kind of wide ranging taste in cars, it was perfect because, you know, you never get bored doing stuff like that. So another milestone of mine was in uh, 2016. I got the chance to uh, build a car for the SEMA show. Um, the car was a 1975 Dodge Dart Sport, um, which I wanted to do in a kind of style that sort of, I guess, represented me, as cliche as it is to say, like, my car represents me. Um, that's kind of what it was. It's kind of an off-the-beaten-path uh, muscle car platform, and uh, I wanted to, you know, do it with a bit of kind of retro Japanese street car style, um, some, you know, vintage motorsport style and kind of all blend it together in something that was, uh, you know, a little bit unique. Yeah, I called it Project Yankee. It was, it was an awesome experience. We had some, you know, great partners on that car. I learned a lot. It was a huge challenge. Uh, probably, I would say probably the biggest challenge I've actually had in my career uh, doing something like that on a timeline. But it is something that I would, uh, I'm sure, definitely be open to again in the future. Um, it's a lot of work, but it's very rewarding. I'm sure you're asking, what kind of car are you in right now? Well, let me show you. This is a 1999 Dodge Ram Vamp. This is what they call a Dodge Ban in the land of the rising sun. See, this thing is very well appointed inside. Uh, it's got a bed back there. Uh, that's probably going to come in handy when my wife inevitably kicks me out of the house for buying too many weird cars. And so along with the van, I have a 2016 Ford Mustang GT. Um, it's my daily driver. I put my three-year-old, take him to preschool in it. It's hard to beat a Mustang GT when it comes to the fun to dollar ratio. Mustang! The Street Racing Chronicles actually, uh, years later, more than a decade later, uh, that's that uh, led us to making a thing called Car Bros. <laughs> This is the whoa! Oh! Oh! Several years ago, we bought this really funky uh, Pontiac Fiero kit car that someone tried to make look like a Ferrari Enzo. This thing's the stuff of enthusiast dreams. That car has kind of started to define what Carbros is. Uh, last year, we took it to Monterey Car Week, um, and uh, a lot of shenanigans went down. We made a video about that. Uh, we actually just took it uh, recently. We took it down to L.A. to Jay Leno's garage. Um, it was on a recent episode of his show. In an upcoming episode of this vlog series, I'm going to be giving you guys a little bit uh, kind of a detailed tour of that. Car Bros has been a lot of fun. As much as I love being involved in cars, it's always good to kind of poke fun at yourself. A little bit more recently, I started more into uh, the driving side of stuff. I started doing autocross, uh, track days here and there. I actually just took my Mustang drag racing the other day. That's going to be in an upcoming uh, episode of Driving Lines Driver Battles. Um, and that was my first time drag racing, so that was a lot of fun, so you can look for that soon. Um, I'm actually kind of hooked on that. I want to go back to the drag strip soon. I'm also pretty into the collecting side of the hobby, uh, you know, die-cast stuff, model cars, uh, that sort of thing. I got a pretty big collection, and I'm always uh, geeking out about that kind of stuff, so we'll probably have a little bit of that as well. A lot of times people ask me what my favorite car is, and honestly, I've never been able to answer that question. I don't know if that's a good thing or bad thing, but... 
my problem is I'm so into different things. I have this weird like ADD thing when it comes to cars that I can never just say, oh, it's, it's this car. Um, I could give you a list of 10 that, uh, that I love and would love to have in this uh, theoretical dream garage. But I don't think there's any way I could just pick one car and just settle on it. It's basically impossible for me. Uh, things are starting to open back up. Uh, events are starting again, track days, uh, car shows, cruising. Um, obviously, we want to get back to Japan soon, like I said. Um, but yeah, we got a lot of cool stuff planned. We're going to have a lot of fun. Um, but yeah, thanks again, and uh, we'll see you on the next episode. Bye-bye. Yeah, so that was my vlog. How did you like it? Uh, I'm sure you liked it. In fact, I want you to like it. I want you to subscribe. Hit me up on social media. Uh, like it again. Subscribe again. Uh, maybe subscribe one more time. It's going to be dope. All right. Peace out.